Today in Final Cut Pro, I'm going to show you how to recreate the Mr. Beast paper cutout effect that I saw over on the Beast Philanthropy page. Let me explain. In Final Cut Pro, I brought in this clip of a man walking up on the beach as well as two paper textures that I found over on Envato Elements. So I'm going to go ahead and just push Q to drop one of these paper textures on the timeline and selecting that paper texture, I'll scroll to the bottom on the right and find the spatial conform. We'll change it from fit over to fill and that will automatically scale it up so it fills my entire frame. From there, we're gonna locate the draw mask effect and go ahead and apply that. From there, we're gonna move forward a few frames and then we're gonna push V to disable it. With our draw mask selected, we're gonna go ahead and start making points around our actor and we don't want it to be actually too good. We want it to kind of have the jagged edges for it to have a nice paper cutout effect. Now that we've done that, we can push V to re-enable our paper. Scrolling to the bottom of our draw mask effect, you'll see this control points. Go ahead and click to add a keyframe and now move back to the very beginning of your paper clip. From there, we're just gonna click and drag all of these points to be down in the center of our person. Now that we have it all shrunk down, we wanna go ahead and take it all the way down to zero. So finding our transform panel, we can click on this down arrow and find our scale parameter. Click to add a keyframe and set that down to zero. Then we can go ahead and move forward a couple frames with the arrow keys and set that back to 100%. So if we push play, we should have a nice little animation like this. Now currently it's a little bit too smooth. We want it to have more of that paper feel, almost like a stop motion effect. So we're gonna use an effect called the strobe effect, which comes from Apple Motion. Now I have a plugin where I have published over 90 different effects from Apple Motion over into Final Cut Pro, so we can just use this effect straight out of the box. But if you wanna get the strobe effect for free, I'm gonna link a video in the description so you can go ahead and do just that. Go ahead and click and drag the strobe effect onto your paper and in here you'll see there is this strobe rate. Currently it's set to 15. Let's go ahead and set that to eight. And what that has done is it has set it to eight frames per second. So if we push play, you'll see we have this really nice looking paper effect. Now we wanna go ahead and change the color on this paper. So I'm gonna look up the colorize effect here in the effects browser and apply that. Then we'll go ahead and change the remap black to be dark and we'll change the remap white over to whatever color we like. So I'll set that to orange and we can go ahead and drag up the intensity so it gets the full color spectrum. One last thing to really polish this effect is let's go ahead and add a drop shadow effect onto it using our effects browser and that is just a built-in effect in Final Cut. From there, we can go ahead and set the blur to zero. So if we push play, everything should be working really nicely. Now something you'll notice with the Mr. Beast cutout effect is that the background always comes in before the foreground. So let's go ahead and recreate that. Let's go ahead and drag and drop the secondary paper texture here. We want it a little bit earlier in time for the animation and we'll go ahead and change the spatial conform over to fill. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and add the draw mask effect onto this clip. And in our viewer, we can go ahead and zoom out and just make a rough edge all the way around the outside of this paper texture. Then from there, we'll go to our control points and we'll click to add a keyframe. Then we'll move to the very beginning of the paper texture and shrink all of this down to the center right behind where our person is. And we can actually push V to disable that so that we can see where we're dragging these points to. Now that we have that shrunk down, we can go ahead and push V to re-enable it. If we push play, we'll see the animation play out. Right now, it's a little bit smooth for my liking, so we'll go ahead and reapply that strobe effect onto that one, and we'll set it down to eight frames per second. So if we push play, now that background comes in really nicely. However, you'll notice in the Mr. Beast video that it actually comes in behind him first before the foreground comes in. So today we're gonna use a plugin called Keeper that I absolutely love. You could do this with draw masks though. So if you wanted to save yourself some money, you could go ahead and do just that. But what I'm gonna do is push option, click and drag to duplicate this secondary clip. We'll go ahead and shorten it down to the beginning of our animation here. And then we can actually go to the end of the orange paper animation and push option right bracket to trim it down. So we just have this very short segment here. Let's go ahead and look up keeper and apply that onto that segment. Let's move forward a little bit in our timeline so we can see what it's doing. We'll drag the thickness way up so that we really see the person. And if we push play, we'll see that that background comes in behind our person 
first, which really, really adds to this effect. Now, something else we might wanna do is go ahead and colorize that background. So I'll go ahead and look up the colorize effect, apply that onto the background. We can drag the intensity all the way up, set the dark down to dark so it looks natural, and set the light areas to whatever color we like. So maybe I'll do this teal color. And finally, we could add in a drop shadow. I'll go ahead and go back to the beginning of the animation here, somewhere in there, and bring that drop shadow to the right place, get rid of the blur. So that's looking pretty dang nice. The last thing we could do is go ahead and animate this off. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a cut here on our primary clip and just delete that. Then with our background selected, we could go ahead and add a keyframe on the position and then we can move forward in time and just drag it off the screen. We could also go into the orange paper and do the exact same thing. We'll click to add a keyframe on the position and then just drag it off using the position parameter. So if we push play, we have this nice animation on and then they slide right out. So that is how you can create this paper cutout effect that I saw over on the Beast Philanthropy page. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.